picked up on everything. You are a busy lady. I am, but what? I've been kind of quiet for the last three or four months. Well, I I, you know, maybe it's old postings that I see of you. Oh, no, so, I post stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. For me, it's been quiet. Yeah, so. yeah read the gray. I'm not yeah. out every night, all night. You know, I, I can appreciate that statement. <laughs> You know, because the show don't stop here. No, it doesn't. You got to drive home. That's true. <laughs> so what, what, what's happening? You're out tonight, though. For I sure. am. I'm here uh, to hear the artists from Thump Records. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to be really good, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also here to advertise a play that I'm going to be appearing in called Angry Insecure Men. It's a domestic violence awareness play that's going to be at the Wilson Bell Theater. November 6th and 7th. Been there many times. And yet, it's a wonderful beautiful. theater. It's a beautiful beautiful theater. And you can call the word she bell and find out how to get tickets. If you know someone who's involved in domestic violence, bring them on down so they can see that there is a way out. You know, we have uh, the Coalition Against Human Trafficking, if you recall when we talked last, caught. And since we saw you about two or three months ago, we were able to participate in about three or four more buses of human traffickers, awesome. our coalition of about a thousand people awesome. here in the San Fernando Valley. So, you know, these events um, where people can find some place to seek help from when they think that they don't have anywhere to go. Exactly. That's the biggest thing. Exactly. And did you hear about the new law they passed today that children can no longer be considered prostitutes when they've been trafficked. Right. They now will be considered victims, which is Well, look, we've been fighting that for five years. My partner, Cindy Shower and I, and uh, that's one of the things. Now they're considered victims. What happens is the prosecution rights change. Absolutely. And uh, I'm writing, I'm currently writing legislation in the state of California through Assemblywoman Patty Lopez um, to strengthen the, uh, the uh, human trafficking laws and to also create more benefits from the state level for victims. Absolutely. That'll rescue children and women because they're all underage, boys and girls, Absolutely. not just one particular sex, gender, gender or anything. And so um, that, that was a part of it that the state recognizes that they're victims. That's number one. Number two is that you have to strengthen the laws because really human trafficking laws here in the state of California are so weak. It's more like a ticket versus kidnapping laws, which exactly. is more like getting uh, a life sentence, okay? So what we're trying to do is couple human trafficking violations and criminality to kidnapping criminality and domestic terrorism. Absolutely. That's what we're trying to do. Absolutely. So my partner and I, were, I'm looking at legal cases and stuff like that. I went to law school a long time ago, you know, but, but this is a passion of mine, so I'm totally with you on this. Is there anything you can do about domestic violence, alcoholism in the African American family, which is at the highest it's ever been? I know. Um, I just found out that last night. I didn't know. Oh well, yes. Yeah, I didn't know it was that bad because it's accepted. They, and then they want to legalize drugs. Oh. I, I can't, people do not understand. Marijuana is a gateway drug. I don't care what anybody Article. tells you. And if you're under the influence of marijuana, you do not behave normally. And it's like alcohol, we, you can't, but that horse is out of the barn. I get that. Let's not let the abrupt of the house uh, the horse out of the barn. I can't even begin to tell you in California, we fight single serve problems at 7-Elevens and stuff because the teenagers pay somebody to go and buy them one can of beer or one can of liquor or whatever single serve. We fight that all the time. See, I know what I'm talking about here. Okay? Absolutely. Can you imagine? The legalized marijuana stores that sell for medicinal purposes now becoming legalized vendors that can sell marijuana. Can you imagine single serve joints? I mean, come on, really? I What's know. that going to come down to? But anyhow, let's get a little more happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we Without shot out the age yeah. of illegal substances. Yeah, that's right. About <laughs> the only thing illegal is my head connected to my shoulders. <laughs> you know, that's gotten me a lot of trouble in the past. <laughs> But uh, we're out here for Thump Records, avnentertainmentlive.com. We're celebrating Thump Records' roster, and, and uh, music is playing, and you're out here having a good time tonight, and Absolutely. we've got this play coming up, and uh, so, you know, it's good to see you again. Good to be here. Yeah. Good yeah. talking to you. Great interview we did last time. I don't know if you saw it. You were a lot of fun, and, and this lady is a uh, <laughs> terrific talent. Well, well, go out and see you. her play. Yeah, go see the play. Give them the website for that. Uh, go to the Wilshire Bell, just Google Wilshire Bell Theater, and you'll be able to find out how to get tickets there.
There it is. That simple. Hey, man, here we are. AVEntertainmentLive.com. www.AVEntertainmentLive.com. We're just off the carpet to the left because we're always to the left or right of everybody. I don't know why. We're never center line. Hey, hey. the brown babies on duty. What are you? Come on. See ya. We need a three camera combo. That's what we do. Camera one, camera two, camera three. Bye bye, see ya.